Hey, in this video we're going to be discussing the Ryobi 600 PSI 40 volt handheld power washer. If you like this kind of videos, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the like and click that bell to be notified of new content. Let's go ahead and get started. Hey YouTube, this is Robert from Sherburn Outdoors. Hey, happy Sunday. Uh, starting to warm up here. It's, it's March in, uh, in Canton, Georgia, a little uh, north of Atlanta. It's about 75 degrees today, so we're going to go out. Yesterday was a big day. We hit the motorbike. Uh, you guys, if you looked at my other videos, you know I keep my dirt bike meticulous. I run a 2300 PSI electric power washer from Ryobi that I like to use all the time. I, ran, I saw some guy out at the track yesterday uh, at Iron Mountain where I like to do a lot of single track. And I saw him power washing his bike after he got done. I was mind blown because he had a five gallon bucket full of water and I stopped and asked him. And, uh, and this is what he had. He had a Ryobi 40 uh, volt uh, high performance advanced technology uh, brushless uh, power washer that uh, you, you can hook to a garden hose or you can actually, it's got a suction uh, hose that you can just drop into a bucket or some kind of water source in a cooler. And uh, you know he was just washing all the mud off. He wasn't doing a full wash, but he was getting everything off his bike. And I was like, wow, um, you know that's something that was very interesting to me. So I went and picked this up today, and I also picked up the foam blaster, just like the one that we used um, on the the electric uh, uh, power washer from Ryobi. So I had a couple things that I wanted to do today. Uh, walk through to let everybody. We're gonna do a quick unboxing, kind of look at what comes in the box. But then we're gonna get on. This bike is dirty, by the way. It is covered in. Georgia clay and I thought we would just power wash this thing with this today versus my other one and see how it goes And if it goes well What I was going to do next time I go out on my next trip is actually fill up a five gallon bucket of water Take this out with me and when I'm done riding while the everything's still wet or muddy or still it's still there It's not in my driveway. This is going to power wash off the big stuff while I was at the site But and if this continues to work really well, I gotta be honest with you this this is so much less bulky then using the big electric power washer that I got to take out, I got to get all the hosing out, everything. But this is, I can just immediately uh, plug in the garden hose and go. So I tell you what, first things first, let's do a quick unboxing of this and then let's get outside and start getting my, my baby here cleaned up because she is dirty and I don't like to keep the mud on for longer than a day. All right, let's get started. All right, it's a pretty shallow box. It didn't really have a lot in it. So let's just uh, pop it open really quick. Just get it open and see what kind of comes in because it does have quite a few little items that come inside of it. All right, first things first, we got our wand. Got a bunch of stuff here. Looks like this is our cable or our, our suction based one that has a filter that we can drop into a five gallon bucket. It's actually pretty nice. This is what I'll use when I'm out at the track, actually. Um, then the unit itself. Now this is pretty beefy, I have to say. Uh, it comes with a charger, nice little slim charger. So I've got the one on the wall over there that holds three of these 40 volt batteries, but this is a nice little slim one. Um, and then it comes with a, with a two amp battery, the little guy. Um, and it goes inside of this huge area right here where it, you open it up and the battery slides right in. It looks like it'll hold up to a six amp hour battery. But yeah, this is pretty, uh, if you look at this, this is pretty healthy actually. And then it comes with um, a handle so that we can um, put it on tight. And then it's got a hose adapter as well for right, for right here. And, and then the nozzle, the nozzle itself, which will go on the end of there. And it looks like it's got rinse, turbo, and a 50 degree a 15 degree so this is kind of what comes in we're going to hook this to a garden hose to start with and then uh for some of the rinse and i actually might might throw this into a, a five gallon bucket fill it up and see how long it takes it says it's 0.7 so we should be able to get eight eight straight minutes out of this so this is kind of what comes in the box and kind of again the unboxing we've got the tool itself we got a charger another 40 uh, volt battery which is great i was needing another one uh, we got the handle, and along with a few adapters, got the nozzle at the end, and then we've also got the one we can hook in. Now, one other thing that I did purchase, and let's just get it out as well, 
is I did buy the foam blaster. I have another foam blaster, but it doesn't really fit this. So I wanted to hook this up, and this is pretty simple. Comes with a couple little things. Got some foam blaster all-purpose cleaner that we can use. I'm, I'm actually gonna use my stuff from Slick Products, but you know, pretty simple. You know, you just like the other foam blasters, you open it up or close it down, and it's got the adapter right here, which will fit in the end of this guy. I'll just screw right in and, and boom, we're ready to go. All right, so this is the tools we're gonna to use today. Let's go ahead and drag everything outside, get, um, get the water going and get the bike out and let's start power washing all this stuff out. Let's begin. Okay, one last thing I forgot to mention that was in here. This is pretty cool actually. You can hook this to a two liter bottle um, and, and then it goes, you know, just plugs right in here like so. And so if you're out and about and you just need a little bit of water, uh, you don't need to hook it to a hose or to a bucket or anything else. You can just pop that right in here and you can go remote with just one, one single unit. Pretty cool. All right, let's get started. Okay, you two. Got the bike ready to go here. It's all set up outside. All dirty. Trying to something else. I actually decided not to do the hose. I actually decided to try the bucket where we dropped in the suction. And it's coming all the way up to our device here. And I tell you what, let's just kick it in, see how it goes. We're in turbo mode. So let's just check it out. Oh, this thing is great. This is going to work. So right now I'm just working on getting all the dirt off uh, like I would if I was out of the track. All right, now tell you what, let me... Uh... And so let's look here. I'm just sucking it down. That's good. So let me put this into uh, time-lapse mode and let's kick it in. I'll let you know how long it takes. Okay, first thoughts on doing the first five gallon bucket here is this thing is great. It's going to work really good at the track. I will tell you, I, I think I'm going to like it a lot better uh, for when I'm out in remote or if I'm doing other stuff. If I'm actually going to do it just in the driveway, this, I'm, I think I'm going to pull out the pressure washer that I normally use. But I tell you what, I am going to finish this up and see how it goes. So uh, let, me, let me just uh, plug in the regular hose, pound this out, and then once we get to the soap stuff, I'll start it back up. All right, hey YouTube. So I will tell you, this thing is great, but I had so much mud from the ride yesterday, it was just was struggling to get it. This is about, it felt like it was about an inch and a half thick on the bike for a Georgia Dirt Flight. So this thing has its places, and then there's some other places it doesn't have. So I had to pull out the electric power washer at least to get the big stuff and kind of get it moving, because it was just so bad. So what I'm gonna do now is actually uh, finish up washing the boots with this and kind of see how it works really good on that level. And then uh, we'll put on the, um, the foam blaster and let that rip. Kind of see here. Go ahead and do the chest protector, and then we'll we'll talk about this before I move into the foam blaster. As you can see, that's kind of getting it done a little bit. Let me uh, let me just pause for a minute, hook up the foam blast, and then we'll get started again. Okay, all in all, this has been okay. I'm about to, I've done the, some of the foam stuff, but I'll show you a, a kind of a demo as we go through. That's been a really good. I think this thing is really good for washing your car, and uh, you know maybe some lightweight stuff on the dirt bike, doing doing lawn furniture, other things. Other than that, I I struggle with this a little bit for for doing the dirt bike stuff. Let's go ahead and uh, kind of set this up to where you can see power washer because the actual foam blaster works really good.
All right, so there you got it. Again, a little bit disappointed in how this worked um, for what I was wanting to do. I think it's gonna be great when we do the car and we do the uh, lawn chairs and other things. I tell you what I might be using this for when I wash the bike is because the foam blaster is significantly better than the one I have on the electric power washer. So I definitely will be using that in the mix. But um, again, about 200 bucks. I would recommend it just for not cleaning dirt bikes. Hey, thanks a lot for watching. If you like this kind of content, click that like button. Don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell to be notified of new content. Thanks.